everyone, Erica here with Paragon Accountants. In the last module, you learned about the importance of paying quarterly estimated tax payments. In this video, we're going to help you make those estimated tax payments make sense on what is a qualified deduction. In this video, I'm going to lay out some general tax deductions for the U.S. tax code as it was when we recorded this video. This is not personalized tax advice for you or your business. Taxes change constantly, so talk with a professional if you have any questions about how these apply to you now. So let's dive in. What is a deduction? In an effort to support businesses, the U.S. tax code allows deductions for expenses incurred related to your business from your tax liability. Those eligible deductions reduce your taxable net income. If done right, you can support your business in thriving financially. If done wrong, you can set yourself up for an audit and a big tax penalty. So when in doubt, talk to a professional. Not all business expenses are treated equally. So not all expenses are fully deductible. Many have limitations in deductions and may have to be spread over many years. You want to be mindful of what that means to you when you're spending money in a particular area. There are two big types of deductions that we're gonna to review today. Operating expenditures is one, and capital expenditures is the other. So what is an operating expenditure? Expenses used to support your day-to-day -day operation for your business, those are typically operating expenditures. They are most often purchased in the calendar year and used in the same calendar year that you're writing it off as a deduction. Examples include rent, salaries, basic office supplies. Capital expenditures, if you make a major purchase that is designed to be used over the long term, it is most likely what is called a capital asset. Examples of capital asset or expenditure include machinery, equipment, intellectual property, long-term patents, things that have a long life in your business. Because the items are used over many years, your deduction may have to be spread out over multiple tax years, which in the tax world is known as depreciation. Not all deductions are created equal, as I mentioned earlier, and in the next video, we're going to look at some business expenses that have specific rules and limitations attached to them, which you, as the business owner, want to understand.